Let's talk about uh, remakes of films that are just like a couple years old. Okay, this <laughs> film. <laughs> like, yeah, uh, but they're foreign films, so that makes it about 20 years old. Yeah, so Speak No Evil was a 2022 <laughs> film that's uh, a Dutch film that uh, is being remade, the Americanized version, right? Uh, coming yep. out in September, starring James McAvoy. Uh, Speak No Evil, it's... Um, I love him. Yeah, and James McAvoy's great, and he carry movie, uh, along with Mackenzie Davis is in it, mm -hmm. Scoot McNary, uh, people, actors you've seen before. And I saw the 2022 version of this, and it's always interesting when you see sort of a fil foreign film and they Americanize it, whether it's... right. Let yeah. the right one in, or Vanish yeah. vanishing. Yeah, the vanishing. And that was the same director each time. That yeah. was the same director, right. and it's always a question: like, are they improving on it, or are they taking away from it? And when it's the same director, it's an inch. Why would you might make the second make the same movie again, unless you thought you could improve on the first one? Unless you're yeah. setting it in America with American people and American actors, just to sort of get the American market, you know? Yeah. yeah. Or maybe you thought like, oh, I didn't like the way I did that, you know, after the fact maybe i'll change it and but a lot of times it doesn't make it better so I'm, well I'm curious about yeah, this. sometimes like i i think with this film and we'll just uh, preamble the original speak no evil is basically kind of a thriller about uh social nicety and not being rude basically so you you know you're you're always trying to de-escalate situations like you know for trying not to be rude trying to be polite making sure everything's good when you're interacting with people on a social level like friends or having dinner with people you're always trying to be on your best behavior so i like the idea of like the cultural differences might change if you're going from uh, yeah, the original yeah. foreign film to now so i think there could be a new exploration that's why i'm kind of interested in seeing this is like how you react to when you feel like things are going wrong and you feel like you should leave, but you're afraid of being rude. So you're kind of like denying that. Right. I love that idea. So it'll be interesting to see how, what is the cutoff here? Like how close is it going to be to the original? Because those people put up with so much shit before they got rude. I was like, there's no way I would be staying and uh -huh. dealing with this. So it's, it's a fascinating and uncomfortable experience to watch this movie. Yeah, yes. <laughs> because a film about those kinds of things would be a totally yes. different film in Japan, for instance. Yes, exactly. With, uh, you know. So I'm interested in seeing if it's how different it is. Okay. okay. Cool. Cultures have different ideas about uh, what's about rude or what's of, of yeah. Being yeah. Rude. Yeah. like I know in Thailand people just they do not get upset because that's embarrassing. It's yeah, like it's shameful. You know, don't honk the horn in your car if somebody you know you let the car get in front of you you know and it's just it's kind of like it's like you lose face is the wow. well that's why like like I think America is the king of rude. So <laughs> if you have like the westernized version, I don't know if this is actually America or not. I haven't seen it yet. But it's like if you bring America into it, it gets super toxic really fast. <laughs> so it'll be interesting yeah. to see how it works. Especially right. from another country. Yes. Imagining what America, because they think all Americans, you know, have a shotgun on their back, you know. And when you go there, it's always like the rude American, you know, the terrible American tourists. Like, you know, right. it's, just, it's what we do. <laughs> but th this is not the same director as the original. So a lot of no. times it is, but this is a different director. This is the right. American director, James Watkins. See, okay, that's let's... what might bring in that different kind of uh, Maybe. viewpoint. On right. That. All right. All right. Let's check out Speak okay. No Evil. I'm kind of scared. Oh, it's don't gonna be, be uncomfortable. <laughs> it's going to be cringy. <laughs> okay. It's going to be cringy. Ready? Uh, oh, I Please, I need to get out of here now. Please, what are you doing? Everything okay in there? Yeah, we're all good. Anything we can get you? No, 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 we'll just be a minute. They're all in the bathroom. We can't let on. Yeah, we can't look stressed or scared. We just have to go out there and be completely <laughs> normal. This is my husband, Ben. I'm Patrick Feld. This is my wife, Kira. <laughs> Oh you have to come and visit us. The West Country? Really, it's beautiful. Yeah, that'd be great. It's so quiet around here. That's not good. Do even have any neighbors? <laughs> Agnes, love, you have to eat your vegetables. I hope we don't chew with our mouths open. Please, could you stop telling my daughter what to do? You don't criticize other people's children. You should say sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry, Louise. Louise, is there anything you'd like to say? <laughs> that smile. Cold water therapy. Proven to boost the immune system. And we didn't bring our swimsuits. Oh, that's all right. You can keep your knickers on. You shouldn't be shy, Louise. Got a great body. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> I admire you. Louise is a great woman. What the? <laughs> I've always wanted a family like yours. Mom, something's not right with him. No! What is wrong with you? I want to pack up the car and I want to leave now. Oh no! Uh, that is really bad luck. I know we can both be a bit much. We yeah. <laughs> are going to kill us. What? He went dead. Mom. Not here. You're either predator. You're prey. I need you to be brave. You guys have been... Just a breath of fresh air. <laughs> oh, well, that is very sweet of you to say. <laughs>to laugh at seeing james mcavoy be so twitchy it's just yeah. <laughs> so funny oh, that looks and pretty when did incredible. he get so jacked i'd like yeah. to know he wasn't a little skinny great. guy he was but then he did the shaman film uh split and then he really beefed up yeah, for really that beefed you know, up. Got, oh my god he looks really like you know superhero for sure i love you know? him he's got a little bit of a like squirrely feel to him and everything he's in like i loved him and wanted remember he was kind of the, the they have that great gift for him hitting people with the keyboard but it's like i love that that sort of fish out of water feel and to see him be kind of the antagonist is kind of a fun idea because he just seems like he'd be the good guy all the time because yeah good, but he can play bad clearly this looks pretty pretty great i mean it's the idea we talk about sometimes of travel horror you know and I felt like the trailer could have ended about halfway through. There was yeah. enough. I, I was like, right, okay, sold. Right. Then they had to show the, you know, the the, the aftermath the, or, or whatever. What's going to happen? I wanted, I wanted to be left with the question of, are these weird people? Yeah, and are the, they the overreacting? The trailer basically says, yes, they're weird people and they do want <laughs> yeah. to kill you. And so, so many like, spoilers in it. I know. Yeah. I wish they didn't know that. You know, I wanted. Right. Yeah. I think it would be better to have it be one of those kind of like, like what's going on and, and that that one scene where she's telling the girl we don't eat with our mouth open and yeah and it's like what even that you know what do you do yeah. super That's uncomfortable like crossing a line but yeah. we've been in those situations maybe yes. uh, where we've met with people who were just like oh you know me i can't wait to get out of here and of course right. you can just get in your car and go but if you're invited to a weekend out in the middle of nowhere and you don't you know then all of a sudden it becomes that much worse because you're you know it's turned into sort of a contained thriller and they right. know they've got the stuff here you're just guests and that yeah. the whole thing is just very ooky, you know. And, and it starts off with it looks like they really like them, and it's like this yeah. beautiful place, and it's like so hey, you in the country, oh. and it's like how incredible that you met these great people. They're going to be our friends for the rest of our lives. Yeah. And sometimes I don't know if you, this happens to you guys, but sometimes you'll meet people that you like, and then they'll say one thing, and you're like, it becomes <laughs> you know like yes. blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. and yeah. You just so really true. want to get on the bus and and yes. split. Right. And it, it's like it could be some little thing. You know, or some little like, like oh, I can't get it's along a, with it's people. It's a it's, it's a happy. clue. No, but I think that that this movie speaks to everybody. Like being in that situation where you sort of like you jump into, hey, it'd be great to go to the south of France or wherever they are. You put your trust great, in them. Yeah, you put your trust, and then you realize, ah, oh, maybe this was not a great idea. And then, then well, it gets because weird you feel like you vetted them. Because you've been right. hanging out with them on a vacation. You're you in this like idyllic place. You're yeah. so much in common. Like, oh my God, you guys need to come to our house. And you're like, that would be amazing. You think, what an adventure to go and you know be with people who actually live there, residents. You get to kind of feel like what it is to live there. It'd be really exciting and, and cool. And you know you already get along and everybody's great. You do. But I love you... it how it is small at first. Like a little bit yeah. of that like hugs are a little too long. Kisses her on the... And then <laughs> her going, you have a great body. It might just be the way they are in this country. You know? Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Then you, But that's why I loved about it's like are we overreacting is it just differences of culture like mm -hmm. and i like that but they they give it away in the trailer that everything is is wrong and there's right. violence and he's a psycho killer and the kid got his tongue cut out and all this other shit that we didn't need to know at right. all the trailer like, why kills, do they do that the trailer the trailer should have been half right. as long as burke yeah. said and just when it gets a little uncomfortable cut to black and let your imagination yeah. take over and, and or just wait to see what happens one little weird and just thing. have like what yeah. was that you know 
Yeah. Like have all that cut it in half, but have that last shot of McAvoy being kind of little like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're kind of like, what's happening? Yeah. You know what you just said about vetting? You said you you vet them. You know, you do that with people and yeah. there are protocols. And yeah. uh, my, my wife and I met met some people who we are still friends with and they are not psycho killers. <laughs> but we met Yet. that in, in another <laughs> country one time and have become like, you know, friends for 10 years with these people and, and they're just great people. But, mm -hmm. but when I first, when we first started kind of getting to know them, I was being, I was trying to be a detective. I remember I was looking yeah. at, you know, you're looking at people's shoes and you're trying to be Sherlock Holmes and you're trying to say, hmm, <laughs> now are those really nice shoes or are they fake nice shoes? Is, is this guy like a con man? Is he trying to steal my phone? Is he, you know, cause it's like, Oh, let me take a picture of you in front of the Arc du Triomphe. You know, it's like, okay, is this where he steals our phone? You know, and and yeah. I no, look at I stuff do. like that all the time. But if I go yeah. to people's houses, I always look at the bookshelves. Okay, yes. what are they reading? You right. know, <laughs> I wouldn't what want they... to judge me by books in my bookshelf. No, no. <laughs> well, it's certain things. You know, like are they cool or not? Anyway, uh, and then, and you... being a woman, yeah. it becomes a whole other level yeah. of vetting. Like it becomes like. Am I getting a weird vibe? Is he looking at me too long? Is the hug too long? Is it like just a weird handshake where they do weird shit with their fingers? Like I've had and this happen have, going. Oh wow. You can have that going on in this film where the woman is feeling yeah. it, but the guy's like, Oh, come on, that's just the way it's they are. Fine. This and yeah, she's yeah. like, ah, no, this is this is making me uncomfortable. Women have I'm the just, radar. Yeah. <laughs> and she, and I think she does, I think she does yeah. in this, whereas the yeah. she, does. she goes, We gotta more, get out of here. More like whatever, you know. And the guy is like, so, well, just, yeah. you know, these are just kind yeah. of free funky people. Yeah. They live in the in the forest, you know. They're just I'm, different. It's but I'm a sucker but, for those. We've seen that before, yeah. but I, I'm yeah. a sucker for that setup, you know. Yes, I, I love this is isolation I'll, horror, which is what it yeah. is, right? I'm sad yeah. that they, you know, sort of gave away too much in the trailer, but that's Way what they much. do nowadays, you know. That's what they do. Trailers, you know, it's come on, keep it to a minute. So we can look at the tray. We can look at the posters and. The original poster uh, looks like this. So we get a little like. This there. is from the original film from 2022. Original film. Yeah, okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah it makes me want to see the original film, actually. Original film is good. It's very good. Yeah. <laughs> it's good and it's dark. And, you know, this is a scene sort of toward the end of the movie. It's actually just right from the movie. But is the original uh, film about Americans going to another country? Or no. no. It's about. What what what's the cultural? It's uh, I think it's if I remember correctly, it's Dutch and German or Dutch and French. I mean, it is two different countries, yeah. two different Dutch languages. languages. I can't France. remember what it was off the top of my head, but yeah. And then this one's a little more on this. Um, yeah, he has a secret, and it you know this one. I don't. I love the shot of him. I think it's it's a nice graphic. I think you know, that pose is poster. way overused, though. Well, it's way overused, but also I feel like it's not really what the movie's about. I, I feel like right. Speak No Evil isn't. I mean, in a way, it kind of is because the trick is you never want to say anything rude. You never want to say anything evil. I guess you're the more you and the thing is what you find out as we all know. When you're around people so long, the facade starts to slip. Like mm -hmm. you can put on the fake, you know, niceties for so long, but when you're actually staying in someone's house and you're living with someone for a little bit, you see the real people. Yeah. And so it's like then all of a sudden it's like, oh, this is, and you're living by the rules. Like don't shoot your mouth open, which honestly is proper criticism. <laughs> it you is. Don't. You, don't you, you don't say to you, you don't say to somebody else's kid. Believe me. Yeah. But anyway, wow, just to, just to clear that up, the original yeah. film it's a Danish couple meets a Dutch family. Oh, okay. So, okay. so you know that's what it is. Okay, um, not too far off. <laughs> no, <laughs> culturally, it's the Dutch. But, yeah. so. but, but I mean, anyways, I think it's even like you could have two American people. You could have. It's just about people being in close quarters and kind of trapped together, and then finding out people aren't who they say they are. Right. But I like so it works for. But I like the cultural difference too. so that you can maybe say, well, that's yeah. the way people are here. That's you know yeah. they do. I mean, because one thing you know when you go to France, I remember with our friends, um, yeah, American people don't. Uh, American guys don't kiss each other on the cheek, and our friends uh, right. he kisses me on the cheek every time. And I don't know what to do. Yeah. Do I kiss back? I don't really know how. You know, how do you kiss yeah. a guy? You and kiss it's him like, back, buddy, right on the lips. Yeah, but I know that, that in the original they put with way too much shit. Like it went way too far. Like I would have been out of there so much faster before right. my tires were flat. I would have been right. out of there. But maybe because it's Danish and Dutch, maybe they're this. It's just the it's Danish a little bit more much more proper. like hey, whatever. It's just yeah. I think that's going back to the cultural differences. What Burke was talking yeah. about in Japan or Thailand that you put up mm -hmm. with a lot. You yes. can, you know you, because that's it's right. too embarrassing to say I want to go. But mm -hmm. we also are more likely to be rude and leave earlier. 
here and not yeah. worry about being rude. <laughs> so there yeah. was that. Hey, it's time to oh. go. You know, <laughs> we're out of here. Uh, Bye. Oh gosh, where's the time? Oh, we just got a call. It's an emergency. We got to leave. <laughs> the dogs got to be fed. The dogs got to be fed. Gotta yeah. get home. The dogs. <laughs> That's always my, that's the clue. As always, you know, I'm at a dinner party. It's time. I want to get out of there. The dogs got to be fed. You know, yep. so. dogs got to be fed. Oh. Whenever you say that to me now, I'll know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> that's my clue. Uh, I mean, it's true. And it's also a good reason. <laughs> I'm just saying. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And, and put in the comments, what's your favorite excuse to get out of uncomfortable situations? <laughs> I'd like to know some more good excuses since the dog thing doesn't work anymore. It doesn't work. And if you've ever so, had any kind of cultural differences with people that were uncomfortable that made you feel like... Tell your story. I did not understand what to say after somebody did this or what... Did you do. escape a serial killer by being rude? Yeah. Let us know. Tell us All your right. serial killer escape stories. <laughs> It's fa no, that's fascinating. I think uh, how that it would is. work. Like uh, so. Anyway, it looks like a good film. Something to it check does. out. I mean, it's lots September, to talk so about. Speak no mm -hmm. evil. Thanks All everybody right. for watching. Take care. Bye.